people, 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 people. Keep pass a suck, pass say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds, call it news with a buzz. This is not your average, typical, run-of-the-mill, mama and papa, missionary blogging. No, this is blogging that takes you on top of the roof or under the cellar with mother in and her little chickadees. This one is called Crab Circle at Hero's Circle, the drama. And why, whenever you are passing places like this, you should circle them and keep out of that circle unless you can validate and verify that they take all sorts of stringent measures to make sure sanitation is a priority if you cannot please to avoid. Now, I am sure that unless you've been living under a rock, you would not have seen that infamous video of a vendor at that same circle. Pretty much taking a DUMP right in the middle of her little place in front of customers while she was serving customers. Now people, if you are like me, you would find that very disturbing. That would probably turn you off from going or supporting any other sorts of business like that unless I said before you can validate that these people are taking sanitation properly. It is their priority. Now, because of YouTube's policy, I cannot show that video because of obvious reasons. When you thought that the people around her would say, Jano Star, this lady gives us a bad name. They were more bashing the person that took the video and put the video out on social media for those of us that are concerned about our health and where we buy food from. I want you to take a listen, take a look at her co-workers, what they had to say pertaining to this situation and then I'll give my piece. I watch her. She do it, and the woman is still up there saying, from morning she don't sell a car or nothing, she has sell up. Yeah, but everybody know her. Everybody against her. No, not the woman went up. Oh, the slip. Oh, oh. Woman, take the video. Yeah. First person, we kidney stuff, you know? Okay. Well, it's not intentional or whatever, from a sick, the person is sick. Yeah, I attack the woman. Yeah, you know how to do that. From a sick, the person is sick, you know how to do that. Exactly. Now people, like I said, when you thought that these people at this place, because that one lady gave all of them a bad name, the person that they start to bash is the person that exposed so that persons can be aware of what is going on. No, people, this shows you the mentality of Jamaicans. So after that, I want you to take a listen, take a look to what the authority are now doing as it pertains to that, and then I'll give my piece. Based on the report that I have received, there is no sanitary facility or toilet and washing facilities here. Um, there is a challenge as it relates to water, inadequate or lack of water. They don't have um, valid food handlers permits. Some of them would have had expired permits. Um, if you notice also, um, a number of them would not have been properly attached to carry out this kind of operation. The Mayor Delroy Williams was on the scene. The issue as I saw it is right now, it's not just only access to water. There are also some behavioral behavioral issues here and, and that has to be addressed and through further training and, and and that training will have to take place wherever it is that food is being offered for sale 
um, we, we have a duty, we have a responsibility to do our assessment and to ensure that they meet the requirements. Now people, you saw the reaction of the vendors. You heard what the relevant authority, Ministry of Health, had to say. And you heard what the mayor of Kingston, he had to say. And if you look at the screen right now, you'll see a picture that is out there that is notice of closure. That means that the business, all of those business in that place is shut down at least temporarily. When will they be open or reopen? People may not really know. However, what we've seen is that this cannot continue to go on because obviously there is no sorts of sanitation measures, meaning proper hand washing facility, meaning toilet. However, these people are selling food and most of them, based on what the relevant authority has to say, they have zero food handlers permit and even if them do, it is expired, so therefore it is no longer valid. Now people, I want you to take a listen, take a look to what the lady in question, the lady that pretty much took a crop right in the middle of the circle of her own business. Hard to say, and then I'll give my peace. I drink all that beer, come here, I don't feel so much, I don't feel so much, I don't feel so much, I don't feel so much. So say to me, say, I don't feel like I want to go back to beer, come. I'm going to just wipe my bottom, I'm going to have my knees. I never see such a video. No shot, Ada. Now, people, again, you heard what this lady, she is probably the most popular vendor out there. She's saying she drank something, some sorts of hot beer, and it just come down. Now, people, I understand that. Listen, nature call sometimes. Sometimes you have upset stomach. Sometimes you eat something and it don't agree with your body. However, the fact that she stood right there in the middle of everything, still serving, still attending to customers, she should have said, listen, on excuse me, me have to go to the bathroom. But the fact that she just stood right there, do what she had to do, and then wipe her ASS in front of everybody. And you hear it again. This is what we call denial. She is denying the fact that she did something wrong. She is denying the fact that she is putting persons health at risk. People that come and support the business and think that they have the proper facility, as in proper running water, proper toilets, proper soap, proper rug, proper napkin, proper towel. So therefore, at least the place can be healthy. People, that is not the case. And here is what is very disturbing about the whole thing. Remember, this place was shut down once before. They then said that they are going to implement the proper facility as in running water, as in toilets. People, yes, there is at least two big tanks there. There was at least one pump that was running the water to the places that you could wash your hand. However, there was no sorts of toilet there. The pump was stolen between all of the vendors that were there. That is making money based on the information that I am getting. None of them could not come together and replace that pump. So therefore, there was no sorts of running water. And like I said before, there was no sorts of toilet for anybody to relieve themselves. So therefore, whenever they want to use the bathroom, they have to go a bush or they have to go a somebody's close house. People, that is not how it's supposed to be. And who do we have to blame? We have to blame those people because they should know better and even worse. We have to blame the relevant authority. Because the facts are these, like I said, the place was closed down before for the same reason. They then revamped it once again. The same people that got an opportunity to redeem themselves. They are the ones that did not get any sorts of proper food handlers permit. Most of them, like I say, them either don't have it or it expired. So we can come to the conclusion that this is not an isolated incident. This is not a case of one bad apple spoiling the whole damn bunch. 
this is most of the people are violating the health rules as it pertains to handling food in a Jamaica. It just come back and haunt them. That video is a replication. That video is a proper representation of exactly what is happening there and what is happening all over Jamaica. Most of these places that you see. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look at this picture. This is when the place reopened once again. There you see Mr. Delroy Williams and Desmond McKenzie as they are posing with the vendors of this new revamp place. But people like them say, the more that things change is the more that it remains the same. So therefore, at the same old thing are going with the same set of people that violated before, they are violating again. And if you give them an opportunity, most of the time they are going to violate once again because it is a culture of nastiness. And I am going to be fair and not take one broad brush and paint everybody. But people, this is not an isolated incident. This is generally what is happening in a Jamaica across the board. What this shows you is nastiness in its worstest form. What this shows you is lack of foresight, lack of proper implementation by the relevant authority. Because if the Ministry of Health, if the government officials reopen this place without any sort of bathroom toilet facility and then them put up a place with water and then the pump is stolen or gone and they did not check and replace it they have themselves to blame along with these other negligent nasty people people this is my advice to you i am not going to say not to support these vendors on the streets However, if you have to support them, you have to put yourself and your health first before you put these people livelihood. And this is my policy as it pertains to how I buy food from strangers off of the streets. If me can't see which part them prepare the food, if me can't verify that that place is clean, if me can't verify that that place don't have any sorts of rat or roaches, any sorts of rodent, then I am not going to buy from them. I am not going to support them. So therefore, me make sure say wherever me consume food from, that person takes safety, takes health, takes everything that they are supposed to take as a priority. That means that uh, the place clean, no sorts of rat and roach now run round there. It is prepared properly. Them now save or keep any sorts of food thing under them bed, in a, any sorts of closet, in a, any sorts of dirty facility. Because what I have realized, as soon as you stop by or eat food off of the street, then you find that uh, you're not so sick. You find that uh, you feel much better. You feel much healthier. So therefore, you have to take your priority into consideration. Think about you before you think about the livelihood of other persons that obviously don't take safety and security and health as seriously as you do. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.